Yo, what's up? In this video, I will show you a very much needed accessory for Tesla Model 3 head-up display. So this car is equipped with it. At uh, first, I thought about testing it on my car, but since we already have it in the Be Good car here, I can show you there. We're going to do some demonstration also. So Be Good, they are like almost like Evonex. They sell lots of accessories for Tesla only. So you can find it on begood.no, uh, all of that stuff, in case you want to know more about it. But I need to show you guys the good stuff here. So look, if you go inside here, we have two different types. Uh, the one to the left reflects on the front windscreen. And then the right one here comes with a glass. So the guy who runs this, uh, he actually prefers the one with the glass because, okay, I'm gonna push the brake now. We have, we have connected both of them, so you can see. So uh, you can choose where you want to put this. I mean, let me just pull it out so you can show you guys. See here? It's just this LCD display. And there's a, I guess there's a cover there because you don't want to see it, the reflection there directly. You want to see the reflection of it. And the nice thing about this one is that you can move it the way you want it well and then you you push i mean you you connect it you attach it with with double side tape but normally you want to put it kind of far out there like this ish but uh, let me show you with the camera maybe it's hard to show you yeah yeah you see you see by default it would be something like this you see double versus this one which is nice and sharp but uh the set comes with with this uh, plastic uh, thing here, it's like a film almost. You know, this similar th things you put on the on the phone, and then you're supposed to put it there, and then of course take off the the, the protective cover, and then it's supposed to be as sharp as that one. But the downside with this one is that you have this weird-looking film that will always be visible from the car and also outside. You will have something like this you know so uh, it looks a bit funky or i don't know but okay so at least i show you guys the two versions but uh, we will test the one with the with the glass so we're going to take out this one for now and then i have to prepare oh yeah and also another another nice thing i need to show you a very important thing how is it connected in the back here if you've seen Scan My Tesla and all that, the OBD, um, the, 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 the canvas is here. So we, <laughs> this is funny because what you do is you, you, you attach this, this uh, extra thing here that just runs on parallel and it taps into the, the info, like speed or state of charge or whatever. And um, you can actually put two in serial that's what we did that's why we could get both of them hooked up but it also means that if i want to use it in my car i can hook up the head-up display and then hook up the, the the scan my tesla adapter so i can still use scan my tesla and also use the head-up display together i haven't tried it of course but it should work based on what we see here but okay now i will uh, mount the camera and then we go for test drive Okay, and you see when the car is off, or actually when you just leave the car, you see we, the screen is on here, but the head of this place is off until you push the brake. Then it initiates. First, you have some weird values. Oh, it's actually show voltage. Whoa, I just realized that. What? 12.9 volt in the in the 12 volt or the lead acid battery. Let me, let me just check again. Let me check again. So it's going to show you what happens now. If I leave the car, close the door. It will briefly show you what was that what was that value okay and then you enter the car press brake yeah you see uh, voltage briefly and then it turns into kilometers per hour and state of charge and the nice thing is that we see state of charge there in percentage 51 percent but the car's display is now configured to show you kilometers so i see that i have 246 kilometers of range this is very nice because by default if you changed it to show this uh, percentage in tesla it will not show you kilometers so now you can see both of them at the same time without touching anything 
So right now we have the red thing. It's just that we are in park, just like in most other cars. And then you put the car in drive, it briefly shows you D for a couple of seconds. And then it goes back to show state of charge. And the same if you go reverse, and also the color that changes, huh, interesting. So the reverse will show you green, uh, sorry, will show you yellow. Drive will show you blue. What about neutral? Neutral is green, huh. Okay, and park is also blue. Wait, is that the same blue as the drive? Oh, it's a slight, no, there was a green, yeah, different colors, yeah. So that's cool. So you have that, that bar under there. So that's a nice thing because uh, the other version I'm gonna show you now, this one here doesn't have that light bar. Wait, this looks like, looks like 3D, 3D printed parts. But the other one doesn't have that light bar and I like it. I like that LED light bar, LED bar. It gives you some extra information. So if you start driving now, you see the speed and you see the state of charge and also turn signal direction. And if you slow down until almost a complete stop, you have that H, there's a red H there, which indicates the auto hole. And I like it that it's easy to read and it also updates fast. You see here, you can, you can see it, both of them now and you can see how fast it updates. It's not that slow stuff you tend to see on uh, most other cars or, yeah, Deutsche Autos. Okay, we're back. Uh, the, the bus was in the way a little bit, but um, let me show you now the color on this thing here. You see, if we are just cruising, it has one color. If you accelerate a little bit, it turns, uh, yeah, the intensity change i mean the, the the color changes and then if you go vot wild open throttle it turns red <laughs> i i like that shit <laughs> it just does little things oh i like that okay what about full region full region is blue wait is this on the high let me see driving oh it's standard region okay it didn't put on low region so yeah full region is blueish power put is Ah, I like it. State of charge, speed. This is perfect. Uh, I personally would move it a little bit more this way, but uh, the owner, he put it there because, because of his height. Um, when he put it there, it was a little bit, the steering wheel was a little bit in the way. So that's why he has it there. But I would put it for, further, right, actually right behind the steering wheel for me personally, because I can see over the steering wheel. So let's see now, is that guy going to, okay, yeah, see, now you go to a complete hole, now, okay, yeah, turns red, ooh, you know, I was thinking, first I was thinking, nah, I don't want this head-up display because I have, I have scanned my Tesla anyway, uh, what about autopilot, does it do anything, no, because I have scanned my Tesla, uh, but I can put them, I can connect them in series anyway and uh, get all that, wait, we have enough space in the back there though it's a bit tight i'm not sure if i can fit two yeah because i need the other adapter i need it for bluetooth adapter my case is a little bit special for you guys all you have to do is hook it up plug and pray almost plug and play yeah basically you can install this by yourself if you're you don't have to be super handy just a little bit handy just squeeze in the cable then yeah let me show okay i'm gonna play around with this a little bit more let me see how quick it updates. It, it's, there is no lag between the real speedometer and this one. Wait, does it update as fast as the other one? Oh yeah. It shows, you can almost count the ticks in, in one kilometers per hour. It doesn't have any weird uh, uh, five frame per second update. I like it. I also, I get the impression this, uh, it's, it gives me a good quality feel of the display. Uh, easy to read in the daytime, even now, easy to read. 
and it's also not too uh, obstructive, not too dominant. It's a sm very small unit. I heard about other units that tend to be a big and bulky. You put it in the front and like, uh, this one is more discreet. I like that red thing. <laughs> okay, now I turn blue. Okay, noise. Right, let's see. Oh, I turn signal again. Yeah, turn signals. Yeah, that's always nice. But the one the small thing though, this is now we start nitpicking. Is that the turn signal on that one, and in the instrument cluster here, or in the on the Tesla screen, is not completely in sync. But this is just nitpicking. Let me just. Uh, I don't know if you guys see it. I need to uh, stop somewhere and observe. Yeah, you can even hear it. Just stop here a little bit. Region, region, hole. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit out of sync. I don't know if they can fix this. Uh, but it's not too important for me. It's not. It's, that's not the. Oh, okay, there's a car. Yeah. It's not a deal breaker. It's just a <laughs> small detail, but no big deal, really. No big deal. Mm. Oh, me wants it. And this is the content of the set. You get this head unit, and there's also a button there. A multi. You can go up and down and you can press it so you use this to configure the car I mean to, sorry, to configure the the unit and uh, here we have some double side tape and this reflected only one uh, the reflective film a tool for popping up the back this is the the adapter with a little bit of cable and there is also a longer cable here that you run through so uh, yeah I can show you is that you put it here right in the back and then you're supposed to run the cable, just hide it somewhere. Yeah, you put it, where is it, that one? Yeah, it's this one. It took it via the center console or somewhere. I haven't figured out where he went. Uh, maybe there or something? Uh, but I see that there's a cable there. Yeah, so uh, maybe there's a better way to hide the cable. But you see, the cable runs there. And then, yeah, and then middle there. So, uh, maybe not the best finish, unless someone else finds a better way to do it, to hide the cable. But from here at least, yeah, when you're sitting here, you don't see it. So I'm gonna show you that now that, when you go, when you start the car, this button here is used for configuring it. Uh, if you hold it down, you get in some... If you hold it down... I think I have to look at the manual. Then you can change some setting here. I don't know what this is. Uh, is it date? Time? Date? Something? No, it can't be. Okay, but then I... If I hold it down again... It just kind of resets. And then we are back to... Well, we should be back to whatever, right? This is where this is staying there very long. Now you can see all the symbols, by the way. Uh, let me show you all the symbols so you know what, what can possibly show on there. Bar. Really? Uh, uh, some battery stuff. Even, huh? Even tire information. I wonder if all of this is displayed or not. Hmm. Huh. Cool. Okay, it just took a little, a little longer, but now we see it's back to normal. So if I press drive, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it says the door is open there, of course, it's back there. So there you have it, head-up display for Model 3. I don't know if this uh, applies to Model S or X or not, but uh, at least Model 3 people, they want the uh, head-up display. So uh, if you want to buy from BeGood, there's... Uh, um, a discount code you can use it's just tesla bjorn and then you get 10 percent discount but i think this applies to only norwegian customers but you know i have about 10 15 percent of my viewers are norwegians so it still applies to many people but do i want it do i do i like it i like it do i want it i'm not sure because i also have scanned my tesla i don't want to fill up my whole uh, windscreen with it so i think for now uh, i will think about it but i like it yeah, 
So yes, uh, by the way, yeah, I'm not making any money from this. I'm, to me, I don't get any referrals from uh, Be Good. I just want to show the great product, and of course, I make product. I, mean, I make money from all the ads in this video. So <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be it for now then. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.